Good afternoon, everyone. I heard one. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, before I begin, I just want to acknowledge some of the uh, elected officials that are with us uh, this afternoon. We have Ward 2 City Councilor Ira Novoselsky. Uh, we have Ward 4 City Councilor Patrick Keefe. We also have uh, Assistant Secretary from the Executive Office of Housing and Economic Development, Juan Vega. Uh, and also State Representative Rosalie Vincent. Uh, back in February, I had the pleasure of announcing that the City of Revere and the team at TND was successful in our application for an Urban Agenda Grant. And today uh, is a great day because we witnessed the fruition of that grant as we announce uh, that Connect is officially up and running in the City of Revere. Hey, let's hear it. The success of Connect of the Connect program is undisputable. Uh, thanks to Connect, low-income families have been guided along the path of financial mobility. And while many Revere residents have made the very long trip over to Chelsea uh, for these services, uh, we are thrilled that now a talented Connect staff will be conveniently housed here in our city, easily accessible to our residents. To place these vital resources and assist our families with job search guidance, employment development skills, and managing household finances is a shining example of how state and local government can join together to assist those that are in need. Uh, thanks to the TND staff and especially Executive Director uh, Rafael Mares, who is a Revere resident, uh, and the Connect uh, teams, Revere residents will be more equipped to participate in our region's booming economy. Uh, we are extraordinarily grateful uh, that Governor Charlie Baker and Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito have once again recognized the quality and value of the work that is being done in the city of Revere. Uh, Revere is also fortunate to coordinate seamlessly with our state delegation. Uh, Senator Joe Boncori, Speaker of the House Bob DeLeo, and Representative Rosalie Vincent are true partners and friends to the city of Revere. Uh, and we welcome them today. And it is my honor and pleasure uh, to introduce a lifelong resident of the city uh, who is one of the most enthusiastic boosters uh, who never backs down in her quest to make Revere a better city uh, and advance all of the concerns that we have in the halls of the State House, our State Representative, Rosalie Vincent. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm happy to be here as we celebrate the opening of Revere's Connect Center. The Urban Agenda the Urban Agenda Grant Program is a wonderful example of how the state can partner with cities to help foster and cultivate economic vitality in communities like Revere. I'd like to, too, thank the Baker uh, Polito administration for their generosity and commitment for promoting workforce development in urban areas and especially in urban areas like Revere. I also want to thank our mayor, Mayor Arrigo, and the neighborhood developers for working together to establish a Connect Center for Revere residents. This will surely become an asset to our community by helping our residents gain critical workforce experience and the tools and the development that comes along with it. I look forward to seeing many Revere residents utilizing Connect the Connect Center to further their workforce development skills. This is truly a great day for Revere. I want to thank all of you who made it possible. And again, another example of the state working together with the city for a better Revere. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Vincent. Uh, the next uh, 
person that I'm going to introduce uh, is someone who has a great understanding of uh, some of the great programming that happens in, in our city. Uh, similar to Connect Services, the Revere Community School understands that learning is not just confined to the school day classroom or just the school age children. Uh, their mission, uh, the Revere Community School's mission, is to empower and encourage adult learners through a ver variety of programs such as financial literacy, language classes, and community awareness, just to name a few. It is uh, my pleasure to introduce Revere resident and the coordinator of the Revere Community School, Fatou Drame. Thank you, Mayor Arrigo. Uh, thank you, um, Connect, for the opportunity of um, having me here today to talk about the partnership that we share. Um, I am very happy to be here today. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Fatou Drame, and I am the coordinator of Rivia Community School. So Rivia Community School is a city-funded program that is supported by the Rivia Public Schools. Um, established in 2013, uh, we offer a variety of courses, um, ranging from English as a second language, um, high set classes, formerly known as GED. Uh, we offer Spanish classes, uh, Arabic classes, computer classes, and um, we also try to connect our students with a lot of resources, um, whether it's job search, whether it's job training programs, further education, food resources, housing, clothing, you know, anything that we can help, we try to do that. And we know that as a program, we are not able to do that alone, so we partner with a lot of organizations, and Connect is one of those uh, organizations. Um, at Rivier Community School, we serve uh, students from over 30 countries. They speak over more than 20 languages. 60% um, of the learners there are parents, caregivers, and we have um, about 80% of the people that attend our classes are active for the workforce. So most of them are looking to get into the workforce, looking for a job because they are newcomers in this city, in this country, and they need it to be able to get jobs, to be able to pay for their bills and take care of their families. So um, last spring, uh, Connect started coming to our program offering financial literacy classes and um, recently, they uh, started coming in to offer workforce development. Just as recently as yesterday, um, they came in to offer our workshop on resume writing and um, cover letters. And this is something that really benefits our students. Um, the financial coaches programs that classes that they offer there not only benefit our students, but also the staff. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit of uh, a story about one of the workshops that we attended, which was the uh, credit building and credit repairing workshop. So during this workshop, the coaches suggested, advised the students not to give out their information to anyone who calls them on the phone without knowing the reasons. So guess what happened? At the workshop, the students already signed their names on the list. After the workshop, they came to me and they said, Fatu, we need to take our name off that list because we don't know why we're writing our names, our information, like our phone numbers and emails. And I said, oh, they need it so that they can follow up and give you more resources. And they said, no. They did not explain that to us, and we don't know what, why they needed our information. So could we please take our name off that list? So that shows you how empowering Connect's program is. We have benefited from it, and, and I, we will continue to benefit from those programs. Um, so I'm looking forward to having more of Connect services to the Rivier Community School, but not only to the community school, but for the city of Rivier. Having Connect services here, for me, it makes my job easy. Because my staff, one of my teachers is here, can tell you how many hours we spend trying to get Connect our students to workforce development training, looking for jobs you know, applying for colleges and things like that. So having Connect here, providing that services make our job easier. So thank you so much, Connect, and thank you for the, to the city of Rivier, to the mayor for uh, bringing these um, services to uh, Rivier Community School. Thank you so much. Hi, 
Hi, I'm 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 Ann Auerbeck. I'm one of the financial coaches at Connect, along with Laura Lucas and Lucia, who's there. Um, we, um, I'm moderating this delightful panel, and um, I let I'm going to let each of them introduce themselves and how Connect slash T and D um, has been of service in Chelsea and how it's going to be able to benefit here in, in Revere. Christine, Fatu, who's just spoken, Sylvia, and Raphael. And um, I will then ask questions after you've introduced yourselves. And I think we have one microphone, so we're going to pass it along here. Here we go. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, I am very excited to, to be here and represent um, Connect as a client. I began um, the program in 2014, and I have, I'm a success story, just to put it quite frankly. Um, I'm a success story, and this is my financial coach. And when I first got into the program, I was a little bit, um, I want to say lost and I really didn't have direction at that time I was without a job and I first encountered TND um, through a community engagement meeting I met Anne, got into the program went to the workshops received one-on-one -on -one financial coaching we were able to find my strengths and Anne believed in me and got me to believe in myself somehow and now I have a career paying it forward because I'm now a financial coach as well for another organization I work for compass working capital it is an organization in Boston and I get to encourage my clients just like Anne encouraged me when I began, like I said, I wasn't sure where I wanted to move forward um, I since being in the program I've gotten into school out of school gotten a career path I'm working now and I've also become a homeowner in Revere I've always been a Revere resident since I began but I actually um, was raised in East Boston and I planned on living there my whole life until rents went up and I was sort of pushed out my family and I couldn't afford the rent any longer um, we actually incomed out of section 8 and could not afford market and we were sort of forced to move out and Revere um, had an open door had affordable rent and we ended up here and I'm very thankful for it I love this community and I'm so looking forward um, to not having to drive through that Broadway traffic to get to Anne. So thank you. <laughs> Hello again. My name is Fatu. Um, um, I'm going to speak personally on the service of Connect. Um, as an individual, I benefited a lot from it because the credit works up. Um, at that time, I took myself to be someone who is very well aware of my finances and what credit scores is all about. But after attending the credit workshop the following day, I went and I had, I had to do a lot of changes <laughs> in my, like, things that I was signing up for, things that I was like, you know, looking, planning to get into, I decided, I said, this is not gonna work for me. I need to stop. And I have Laura who basically sent me more information and said, this is what you need to do. So I end up calling my kids and I said, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to change your, the way you, you, you do your finances and all of that. So it benefited me. And, and I can tell you that my students that are in our programs benefited a lot. Um, they have been asking a lot of questions and they got a lot of information and the Connect program is really helping because the population that I work with is not used to um, the financial um, accessing financial coaching or, or workforce development 
um, issues. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to connect to the system and basically access those resources. So having Connect come to us, um, it, it makes it easier for them to understand, to learn those skills and to empower themselves and, you know, be able to share those information with their family members and make their um, financial household financial um, situation more secured and looking for um, looking for better jobs. Thank you. Hello, hello everyone. As um, most of you know, I'm Sylvia Chan, the director of the Revere Cares Coalition. It's a pleasure to be here this afternoon supporting TND and the Connect Services. So it's been uh, 20 years that Revere Cares has been in the community, and um, it's now at the time when we've realized that we've been addressing um, issues in the community by topic, you know, healthy eating, active living, and substance use disorders. And at this point, it was when we realized that that if we didn't help uh, community members to address their issues at a more root level, we would never get ahead. Because the substance use industry keeps reinventing itself. When we, for, when we get to a point where we think we've controlled the substance, they come in, they come up with another, something new, such as the jewel and the vaping and the so many electronic cigarettes. Um, healthy eating, well, the food gets more and more expensive, and the food that's not healthy gets cheaper and cheaper and so we are not able to uh, get ahead of that either. So it is about stabilizing the family unit and it's about getting them to a very um, comfortable place that allows them to then make healthy behaviors and healthy decisions. When we realized this and started looking to see what that would take, we realized how not easy it is. Um, families um, is multi-pronged. It is not only financial. It could be they need a little bit of um, educational, increase their ed educational level. They also might be needing housing or stabilizing their housing. And so there was many factors in play that needed to be addressed in order for these families to f to be stable. And that's when we, uh, when I approached Stephanie and wanted to understand a little bit better what Connect was and saw their wonderful model in which they actually addressed different issues in a circle through a referral process that we said, wow, you're, you're doing what it needs to be done in a community. And so very much looking forward to figuring out how to support their services, how to um, increase their referrals, how to make the community learn about their services and make this um, um, office really prosper and, and, and help revere. So it's, it's, it's great to have them in the community. Good afternoon. My, um, did I pull it out? Is it still connected? Yeah. Um, my name is Rafael Maris. I'm a 15-year resident of Revere and the executive director of the Neighborhood Developers. Um, what a beautiful day to be here today. I, um, I wanted to share with you that Connect is really about a partnership. Um, we realized through our own work um, and the, the, the research confirms that, that people really benefit from more, have more than one need and therefore benefit from more than one service. So somebody who comes in to see, uh, to get help with housing could also benefit from job training and placement. They could also benefit from financial coaching. You've heard a lot about that and financial education. They could benefit, they might benefit from English as a second language classes. Um, and they might benefit from, um, if they're unbanked or underbanked, from uh, financial products. So we have a partnership with Mass Hire, with Metro Housing uh, Boston, uh, with Bunker Hill Community College and Metro Credit Union. Union, um, it, it, that formed connect together in order to provide the services that people need. People can enter connect through any door. So if they're coming here with one issue, they will be referred to other services as they're needed. And the result is that people can improve their um, financial mobility significantly more by accessing more than one of our services. And that's the, the basic premise of Connect. And we're really excited to now have a location here in Revere. Chelsea might not seem far away, but when you have little time and little resources, it's really hard to get um, to get anywhere and to be able to have a location right here in Revere for uh, for my neighbors is, is a great day. And so I really appreciate everybody's support in making this happen. Thank you. 
thank you. I'm impressed with everybody. <laughs> so um, some of these are just general questions, and feel free to just you know, put up your hand and or take the mic. Um, what what do you see as um, the strengths of the Revere community? Um, yeah, what are the strengths of the Revere community that and the ones that you want to build on? I think one of the strengths of Rivia community is our diversity. Um, the um, the city has become too uh, is becoming very diverse. Um, we have currently, I think, we have 36 percent of the population are foreign born, and that is in itself that it it in itself is a real rich uh, culture that we have in the city here that we really need to invest on that. And, and get everyone to benefit from whatever resources that we are bringing into the city. Um, the city is um, has a great economic development plan, and you know we have uh, connect here, and there are so many projects that are coming up. You know, um, at the Suffolk Downing and other projects that are coming into the city, and we have so many of our residents who cannot access those resources because either they don't have the language skills or they don't have the job skills, or they don't have the experience. So I think that, you know, trying to make sure that everyone benefits from the resources or the projects or the opportunities that um, is being provided in the city is something that we really need to uh, invest on. And, you know, the city basically is, is that diverse, and, and that is one of our strengths. And our school systems are really good. Uh, we have Trivia Beach. And that really brings more people into the city. So obviously, we will be having more people into the city. So obviously, that is there. And then I think that there is a sense of community in Rivia here that everyone, you know, wants to be able to um, contribute something, and everyone wants to belong. And that is something that we really have. And we have a strong collaboration between the city, between the city and the school and the um, organizations and groups that are in the city. Everyone works together, try to make sure that we bring the resources so that everyone else can benefit. So those are the strengths that I can say that we really have in Rivia that we really need to um, um, basically invest in. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So supporting a little bit what Fatu was saying is definitely the ability of this community to come together to the table. That's definitely a strength. Um, even though the uh, issues are a little complicated, people are willing to come and discuss it. They understand the value of coming together and trying to figure it out. Um, and that's that's definitely a strength. We formal and informal leader, leaders in the community likewise um, are willing to come and figuring it out. I think you really covered it well, um, both of you. But I, I think it's really the people and our diversity that are our that's our main strength. And I also think that our geography is is our strength. We're we're we have a lot of access to water. It's such a beautiful place to live. We have easy access to Boston. Uh, despite its challenges, we have uh, more public transportation than many other communities. And um, and this is this is really you know a great community to live in, and it's a great foundation for a lot of the things that we're doing. got yours? You got there first. <laughs> um, so given all of these strengths, uh, what are the barriers? What keeps barriers that we hopefully we connect and the other organizations can, can help address? Somebody? I think if if I am going to speak from my work, uh, the barriers that um, the population that I work with mostly have is the language skills. They don't have the English language skills. Um, they don't have, like I said before, the job skills and the experiences that they needed to be able to compete on local jobs or local um, uh, resources that are available in the city. So that is one of the barriers that we have. They are not able to... Um, navigate the system and access the resources that they needed to be able to um, improve their educational level or get a better job. Uh, those are the barriers that 
for me, that's what I see here. And another barrier that I, you know, I keep on saying, and I think that maybe people are tired of hearing, is that we really don't have a community space in the city that, you know, we can use for a lot of um, activities or a lot of uh, events. So that is also a barrier because there are so many non-profit organizations or groups that are coming up who are looking for space to be at so that they can do their work and they are not able to because the rents are so high that they are not able to afford an office space. So that is also a barrier to, to our work. Yeah. So I, I'm having a little trouble focusing on the barriers and challenges only because we recently took a two-day training on the positivity of thinking. And so how to think positive. And so, yes, uh, addressing problems. Yeah, addressing problems through the positive side. So, yes, I agree with Fatu language and, and communication reaching the people. But what are the strengths again and what is the positive? And so um, let's start figuring it out. Okay, uh, what do we have in play? We have interpreters. We have community members that are willing to be translators or interpreters. We have services. We have a Revere TV that's a... a we could maybe leverage that to make it a little bit more uh, commu strong in the community so we could communicate that way. So let's start trying to figure out what is in place and, and see it from a positive side, uh, understanding what is it that we're wanting to achieve and, and get done. And, and, and we, we, we have things we can do the, in, in the community just to address those yes. challenges. I like, yeah. I like what you're saying. <laughs> All right, I didn't attend the positive training, positive thinking training. <laughs> But I'll try anyway. We have some great people in Revere that can help us figure out how we can have more affordable housing here. Is that a way to put it? Okay. <laughs> um, uh, this is something that just came to mind, but and in, in more what you said is I think that our population, um, a foreign-born population is, is increasing. And I think there is a little bit of a language barrier um, that I think we aren't addressing. And just something that came to mind, yesterday we were voting, we were all at the polls, and I voted at a local school, and I don't even know the name of the school, but I noticed that there were no people of color or anyone that could possibly help translate um, for Spanish-speaking um, voters. And for me, I just think about how can we integrate more, how can we better support the community as it is right now? Um, how can we provide more resources and how can we integrate, you know? Um, it, I, yeah, so that's something that I just noticed yesterday and I, I'd love to see more integration and just more support for, for um, um, other languages and support in that area. Speaking now as, as a coach, I think one of the um, difficult, one of the, one of the things that I see with clients is that many of them have come from other countries and have been professional people in other countries, or they've done amazing. They have amazing strengths that have brought them here, and then they try to apply for a job, and it's like, well, you don't speak English very well. So you must, you're not qualified. And it's just, I think that, that, that employers and have to see that speaking English, you can pick up English, but if you're a good lawyer or if you're a good, if you've been in the medical field somewhere else, you have a lot of skills. If you've been in the military, you have a lot of skills that, that don't require a whole lot of language. And you can always get the language. So I think that, so based on what you're saying, is you really need to, to see people's strengths, what they were before they came here as a refugee. Two minutes. How do you do two minutes? <laughs> Jesus. OK. Um, so I would encourage. Uh, what? How do you think? Yeah, I mean, Christine in particular, who has used the Connect services in Chelsea, um, how would you see our services being most beneficial to the, to the Revere community? Sure. Just having um, Connect services in the community is so important. Um, regardless if 
uh, Chelsea is right down the street. It, it, it's difficult when you're working multiple jobs and you're time constraint you can't uh, we were always constantly trying to figure out a time to meet it's difficult and um, just having you accessible is going to be amazing but having these services in this community is so essential financial literacy um, it changes lives um, it changes the qualities of lives and everyone is deserving of, of, of this and so just to be able to offer that in the Revere community when I was ma maneuvering on my journey, I had to access all of the resources outside of Revere. So I went to Chelsea for coaching for first time home buyers. I went to East Boston, I mean, or, or Lynn. And it's exciting that we may be able to offer those services here in Revere in a familiar place. Um, we're certainly getting large enough um, and it, the need is there. So the more the better. And I'm just hoping that we would continue to partner up with other organizations, continue to provide community spaces where people can actually build community um, and engage with some of these programs. Um, Connect also is sort of like that link to so many other resources. And just having a one-on-one -on -one person that I can, just an advocate, it's important. Um, especially if you're not familiar um, with the system and just learning and having someone that believes in you, doesn't judge you, and just it helps you um, on the same level, side to side, it's, it's amazing. So I'm excited um, for Connect to be here and um, I think that once people get a, a hold of what's happening here, we're going to need like a bigger space. Um, yeah. Is there anything you want to add? Yeah, to each of you, yeah. you have 30 seconds to what okay. is the most pressing need for Revere? I think for me, um, having the adult education program linked to workforce development. It's, it's really uh, amazing. It's, it's something that I wanted and now that we have it and it's right here at home and Connect can come to us anytime that we need them. It's all that I needed. So I'm really grateful to Connect and I'm thankful um, for the partnership that we, we started and I'm hoping that it will grow to something bigger. Thank you. Likewise, Revere Cares look very much forward to supporting, collaborating, do anything we can do to make uh, this service very successful and want to make sure that community members know about it and are accessing the resources as much as possible. So that's definitely one mission we have in place. Just one pressing need? One pressing. All right, affordable housing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you have one? Thank you, all of you. And all of you, um, we continue the conversations here with them individually and before you freeze and turn into icebergs. And um, thank you. I just, um, this, this makes me as a Connect coach so happy. I think the, the one thing that, that we need to really do is how to get people to know about our services. You know, and the more that you can tell people that we exist and that we're here, uh, we're starting on Tuesday, we, no. for the moment we are Tuesday afternoons right here uh, between 1 and 5, so just send people walk-ins. And, and I think the, the, the plus of coaching is you start wherever you are, whatever your need is, that's where we start. You know, it's not like we're telling you you have to do this, you have to, it's like whatever you're feeling confused about or, or unsure about or you need help with a decision, that's where we start. So. Please come and use our services, and, and sky's the limit. <laughs> Thank you very much. And, yeah, go ahead. Um, and now we'd like to welcome everyone to have some refreshments. Um, this is actually an open house kind of thing, and so you're welcome to go in and check out the office space where the individual work is done with clients. Um, also, the community room is what we have, uh, where we have decided to put uh, um, a lot of workshops that there are, of course, other workshops that we're doing, for example, as part of the community school uh, and at one, another TND property down the street at One Beach. Um, but but the, a lot of workshops are happening here. So um, come check out the space, um, grab some literature. We've got lots of uh, pamphlets on different events that are happening and have some snacks. Thanks.